This is This Week in Chiropractic for January 12th, 2021, and these are your headlines. CNBC reports that President-elect Biden will call on Congress to immediately cancel $10,000 in student debt for all borrowers. The ask will also extend the payment pause that's scheduled to lapse at the end of this month, and it told reporters last Friday afternoon. Around 90% of federal student loan borrowers have taken advantage of the government's option to pause their payments during the pandemic. The president-elect's commitment to forgiving $10,000 in student debt falls in line with his promises on the campaign. The World Federation of Chiropractic has released their quarterly world report for January 2021. The issue includes news about Rwanda, the Republic of Congo, Luxembourg, and a second Mexican association being accepted into membership of the WFC. The issue also reports on the World Spine Day campaign held each year in October, including the prize winners being announced. In research, the British Medical Journal provides recommendations on returning to physical activity after COVID-19. This article focuses on those in contact with primary care providers, not just athletes, as previous research has discussed. Recommendations include to risk stratify patients before recommending a return to physical activity in people who have had COVID-19, and to only return to exercise after at least seven days free of symptoms, beginning with two weeks of minimal exertion. The article discusses that there is evidence of a further decline in physical activity since the start of the pandemic for people with chronic conditions such as obesity and hypertension, conditions associated with worse outcomes from COVID-19. Something else you should know is that the VA Chiropractic Education and Training has begun applications for their residency. Applications are now open for the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs Chiropractic Residency Programs. The VA has 10 residency sites across the U.S. now. The VA Residency Program is a one-year full-time program that runs from July 1 to June 30. The deadline for match registration is this Friday, January 15, 2021. So head on over to the show notes and you can find a link to that application as well as requirements and any other information you may know. And those are the headlines for this week in chiropractic, January 12, 2021. A little bit of personal news. I just received a tweet just before going live on this show from uh, the author of the book, Strange Glow. So if, if you follow me on YouTube, I put out a video of the five books that inspired me in 2020, including this book about the history of radiation, which I found really interesting. And Timothy J. Jorgensen on Twitter replied saying, I'm glad that Strange Glow inspired you. Thanks for your review of my book. Um, pretty cool to be called out and uh, actually a bit uh, maybe embarrassing is not the right word, uh, but certainly makes me realize, gosh, stuff on the Internet gets seen. And I'm trying to give it to myself that that is a good thing that putting out articles uh, on my blog, videos on YouTube and mentioning these people gets attention. And that is a good thing. So what do you guys think about Biden calling on Congress to forgive $10,000 in student debt? Um, Trump has been, uh, has had student loans on hold on deferment for probably over six months now, maybe going closer to nine. I don't remember exactly when that came into effect. Um, I was surprised, I think, that 90% of borrowers have taken advantage of this, uh, except for yours truly. Yep. Thanks to uh, the support of my wife, we've continued payments and we are now debt free. Um, kind of, huh, it doesn't really feel all that much different, to be honest. Um, but we'll see next month when, um, when that <laughs> loan payment would have been due. Obviously, it's not, not due and it won't be for a while, but um, happy to have that out of the way. Although I think uh, with this, you know, it would have been nice to have a little bit of extra cash lying around. So um, I, you know, I think it needs to be um, continued for now, as long as 
the stringent lockdowns are in place, I think it makes sense to give people a little bit of, um, of relief there. Do you read the World Federation Chiropractic Quarterly World Report? I do, mainly because um, with my involvement in World Spine Care, we publish in every report and update. Um, and it's nice to see what's going around the world. Usually there's an, you know, kind of a um, letter from the Secretary General, Dr. Richard Brown, and then just news from around the world. Um, interesting to see here that... Uh, two more countries have associations now represented in um, the WFC. So Rwanda, Republic of Congo. Luxembourg joins as the newest European member. I'm a, I guess this is a new association as well, although um, other members of Europe have been there. And then uh, an association in Mexico... Uh, withdrew and now a new association has applied and been accepted to the wfc so that's pretty interesting world spine day happens every october 16th and uh, they give out prizes so it looks like uh, chiropractic association of south africa won first prize for member association categories and the international medical university which has a chiropractic program um, one for the Educational Institute category, and then for private clinic, Kids First in Hong Kong one. So they generally ask for videos, photos, uh, things to be shared on social media. So I do enjoy reading that. It is quite long, but you can just browse through and read about um, other people's personal uh, stories and success. And there, of course, is the World Spine Care article. In research, not much uh, terribly new this past week. I did come across um, a couple of older articles that I thought I would share, but I want to keep this relevant and fresh. Um, the British Medical Journal talks about returning to physical activity after COVID-19. And there have been a couple of articles discussing this, mainly with athletes. So you may have seen, I believe... I keep meaning to go double check this. The uh, uh, university in Ohio did a study with their athletes finding that, gosh, I think it was somewhere around half of their athletes, even those that were asymptomatic, but half of those that tested positive for COVID um, had some cardio, um, uh, cardio, uh, no, not cardiomyopathy, um, but some inflammation of the heart. And just more um, studies showing that there might be some cardiovascular and potentially respiratory um, effects of this, even without having a serious case of it. Um, but what about those who have had a fairly mild case but aren't athletes? What, what do they do? Because we know, uh, it's certainly true for me, that since COVID, my physical activity levels have gone way, way down. Um, and so these are recommendations um, for uh, those in primary care, which, you know, in this case, I think includes chiropractors where primary contact, we're the ones seeing patients who are, are well. So the suggestion is to risk stratify them um, based on the symptoms and any ongoing symptoms, those who had severe COVID or suggestive of cardiac involvement need further clinical assessment. But for those with um, a fairly mild case of COVID, they should return to exercise after at least seven days free of symptoms and then begin with at least two weeks of just minimal exertion. Um, this probably is a good recommendation for everyone to just get out and walk for half an hour or so. Um, but it goes into the health benefits and again mentions of myocarditis was the word that I was looking for previously. Um, so good uh, practice pointer and kind of a, a flow chart here for recommendations. This is, I don't believe this is a guideline, but recommendations for primary care providers. Are you thinking of working at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs? I did my chiropractic clerkship or internship at the VA in North Las Vegas. A great practice opportunity, a great um, multidisciplinary way to practice if that's what you're interested in. And 
while I was in school, they were still in the pilot project phase of the chiropractic residency program with five sites. Now they have 10. They've, they've finished that phase, showed that it was beneficial, and now they have 10 sites, a couple in New York State, one in Cincinnati and Miami, Iowa, Connecticut, LA, Palo Alto now, Puget Sound, St. Louis, and again, Western North uh, New York. I really think this is a great example of the future of chiropractic. I think we need more residencies, not necessarily just in the VA, but I think this program should um, should expand, and I think it's a great option for uh, for chiropractic graduates. Um, the pay is, you know, right around there of what you would receive in in private practice in your first couple of years, around thirty six to forty five thousand dollars per year. Um, those who go on to get a permanent position at a VA location uh, tend to be earning mm, probably under a hundred thousand. I've only heard a couple of uh, you know personal stories about what they earn, and these positions are quite competitive. And so, getting a residency position is a great way to then have a foot in the door for um, a full time position. Um, the application deadline is this Friday, so it opened up on January 4th. The deadline is due, um, for the match registration is this Friday, and then the final applications and curriculum vitae by January 29, and then you go through an interview process, and then you, if you're selected, you start on July 1 and work full-time for uh, for one year, ending in June 30th. So great opportunity, and I think that that is something that people should consider. I, uh, I think I wish I would have continued with something like that or doing the DAC bar. Uh, I think a radiology program probably would have been a great fit for me. Well, that is it for this week in chiropractic. Again, please give me some feedback. Um, You can comment here on the Twitch stream. Keep an eye out. I may be switching over to Facebook as a trial in the next few weeks just to see what type of traction I get once this is polished. Again, Twitch has kind of been my experimental platform. And then uh, once I really go for it, I'll be streaming to multiple platforms at once, including YouTube. Um, But yeah, contact me at Exploring Cairo on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter. Uh, I even do have TikTok, though I haven't posted much there. And on YouTube, my email is Nathan at exploringchiropractic.com. Also on Instagram at Exploring Cairo. Love to hear from you. Love to get your recommendations for news and headlines for the week in chiropractic. And uh, send me any recommendations on what the show should look like, how you uh, would be most interested in consuming it and listening to it or viewing it online. And we'll see you again next week. Thanks again for watching. Dr. Nathan Cashin of Explore Chiropractic. We'll see you again.